We now know what features Royal Caribbean will offer on Spectrum of the Seas when she debuts in 2019, and we'll get into all of it up next. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, so let's jump right into the big Spectrum of the Seas news. Royal Caribbean announced the new features and amenities that will be offered on the newest, largest, and most expensive cruise ship in Asia, Spectrum of the Seas. Spectrum of the Seas will be Royal Caribbean's first quantum ultra-class ship and will boast a lot of firsts for the cruise line, including the first private enclave for suite guests, new stateroom categories, innovative dining concepts, stunning new features and experiences, many of which have never been seen before at sea at all. Now, if you're wondering about size, Spectrum of the Seas will be able to accommodate 4,246 guests at double occupancy and 1,551 crew members, and they will start beginning sailings from Shanghai in June 2019. Now, of course, you're wondering what is going to be on this cruise ship. What makes Spectrum different from basically any other Royal Caribbean ship or any cruise ship for that matter? Here's the basics of it. Spectrum of the Seas has been custom built for the Chinese market. And that means she's going to offer a number of amenities, some of which are new to Royal Caribbean, some of which are new to the Quantum class, and some of which are just kind of a mesh of all that and the best of the latest that Royal Caribbean has to offer. Let's begin with the iconic SkyPad, a virtual reality bungee trampoline experience that will be located on the aft of the ship. We've seen this added already to Independence of the Seas and Mariner of the Seas, and Spectrum will offer it as well. Uh, basically, the SkyPad, you don your VR headset and you get transported to another time and planet as you bounce up and down. What better thing to do on your day, right? Uh, also, uh, a brand new experience to any Royal Caribbean ship will be Star Moment, which Royal Caribbean is describing as a lively and energetic karaoke venue where family and friends can belt out and sing like the stars. Also, Spectrum of the Seas will offer the Seaplex, the largest indoor sports and entertainment complex at sea, where you can join bumper cars, roller skating, and basketball with new augmented reality walls and floors, which means another high-tech interactive experience. Spectrum of the Seas will also offer other signature quantum class offerings, such as the North Star Observational Pod, Ripcord by iFly Skydiving Simulator, and the Float Rider Surf Simulator as well. Also, you'll have the return of 270 venue on Spectrum of the Seas, and that'll feature the Vistarama technology, which basically turns the panoramic windows into a projection surface more than 100 feet wide, over 20 feet tall, showcasing some spectacular digital shows. I can tell you, this place is amazing. Also new to Royal Caribbean in general is Spectrum of the Seas will offer the first private suite enclave. Basically, this is a exclusive suites-only area, which will feature the exquisite golden and silver suite accommodations in a private area at the forward end of the ship on decks 13 through 16. Guests book in these types of suites will have special key card access, a private elevator, and a dedicated restaurant and lounge. In addition to a range of exclusive amenities, guests will have access to The Balcony, a private outdoor space for sunbathing and relaxing that offers the best views on board, and The Boutique, a shopping area where travelers can book private shopping experiences. Now, Spectrum of the Seas will also take an idea from Symphony of the Seas and introduce a two-level, 2,809-square-foot ultimate family suite that can accommodate up to 11 guests. The three-bedroom suite will include a master bedroom with a bathroom that extends over the side of the ship to provide unparalleled ocean views, along with two additional suites for grandparents and other family members. Kids will have their own kid-friendly space on the upper level, complete with an in-suite slide that will transport them to the living area below. Everyone in the family can enjoy time together in the recreation room, which features surround sound equipment for karaoke, movies, and video games. Now, if you're wondering about what they're going to offer to eat on board Spectrum of the Seas, Royal Caribbean will offer a three-level main dining room on Spectrum of the Seas. They'll be able to accommodate 1,844 guests, and they'll serve a variety of Chinese and Western options that rotate each day of the sailing. Of course, no Royal Caribbean ship is complete without the Windjammer Marketplace. It's a more casual option. Of course, it'll be also 20% larger Windjammer than those found on Quantum class ships, and will feature a buffet selection of Chinese and Western dishes, including noodles, pizza, Japanese teppanyaki, and mini hot pot. A new specialty restaurant will be added to Spectrum of the Seas called Sichuan Red. It'll be located in the Royal Esplanade and will serve authentic cuisine from the Sichuan province of China. And also, uh, Spectrum of the Seas will offer some other popular signature restaurants, including Wonderland's Dadong, a new outpost of a famous Chinese chef, much renowned for his much-coveted roast duck dish. Jamie's Italian by British celebrity chef Jamie Oliver, Izumi, Chops Grill, and some other things as well. We're also going to see the Leaf and Bean Traditional Tea Room and Cafe Parlor will be available on the Royal Esplanade. 
So now you might be wondering, okay, how can I book this amazing ship? Where is she sailing to? And where do I need to book my air travel to get there? When Spectrum of the Seas debuts in April 2019, she will sail a, get this, 51-night global odyssey from Barcelona, Spain to Shanghai, taking guests to 13 different countries. Now, a 51 nights is a bit out of your PTO range. That's all right. Uh, also, Royal Caribbean is going to be offering uh, some separated segments. Actually, it's going to break it up into five different segments of this global odyssey, so you can cherry pick which parts you want to go on or which parts, more specifically, you can afford to go on. When Special arrives at her new home in Shanghai in June 2019, she'll introduce new itineraries with visits to new ports uh, such as Hakodate and Nagita, Japan, Locos, Philippines, and Vladivostok, Russia. In winter 2019, the ship will reposition to Hong Kong to offer special holiday cruises. These new itineraries and more are now open for sale. But now I throw it over to you and want to hear what you think of the big plans Royal Caribbean has for Spectrum of the Seas. Which features are you most excited about? And will you be booking a cruise on Spectrum? With all that being said, go ahead and subscribe down below, turn on the notifications for this channel, and give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. This has been Matt, and we'll talk again real soon.